Let's just say I didn't know if it was a good or bad idea to take that risk. I also might have not been paying attention at all. Oh my gosh, that was a Westbrook. I sold, I sold. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Get off the screen! Oh, up! Oh my gosh! If that's not the most bailed snipe ever, I don't know what is. That did not have to be that stressful. Oh my gosh, I am so bailed. There is not a single Russell Westbrook up in the auction house. Not even one. I'm hoping since he's the only one up in the auction house, we will make a little bit of extra MT, but I'm not going to count on it. As long as we make profit, I'm okay with it. Moment of truth, our Russell Westbrook sold for 486,000 MT. Okay, I know spacing is important on posting cards, but 486,000 MT is crazy. Even though we do have a lot of MT, MT, I do want to check out some budget filters because I heard this one was going crazy today. 800 MT, and we'll take it, man. I thought I went kind of slow on that, but either way, that's still close to 2,000 MT profit. If I can get that on every snipe, we're going to make a lot of MT. Not even joking when I say this was only four refreshes later. I wasn't even paying attention because it's only been four refreshes. Bro, this might be the filter. The filter I was using was the Maverick Snipe Filter. Now, these cards were selling for close to 3,000 MT every single time, but I did sell them for a little bit less. Every single Friday, there are new budget snipe filters like this, so if you guys do want to find out about them, just comment down below. I'll try to answer every single question. Anyways, let's see how much MT we made from the Snipe Filter. After redeeming all of our auctions, we are going to be just below 500,000 MT, meaning we're almost halfway done. Just a reminder to always go in your collection and try to sell anything you can to make some extra MT. It is worth it because I did have a badge in here sell for over 5,000 MT, so we will take that. Sadly, my stream last wasn't open, but we did snipe a Diamond Chaunty Bells for 23,000 MT, and you can see how much he's going for right here, so hopefully we can sell him for this much because that would be crazy. We then decided to try out the Diamond Sniping Filter, and let's just say it didn't take long to see a snipe. I did just scroll past the Shangun, but I am going to take the card because I have seen him sell for 150,000 MT at times. And if we could just make profit on the card, I'll take it, man. Profit is profit. Let's just say another one might have popped up. Oh, I'll take another Shangun, man. Our other one did sell for profit, but you're going to have to wait to see how much it sold for. So hopefully this one can make us just as much as that one. Did. We then decided to try out the all filter where you raise your price super high and you can see every single card in the game. And let's just say the card we saw was pretty unexpected. A gems of the game AD and it's a hollow. I'll take that. Now, do not mix this up with the Series 1 Anthony Davis that goes for like 20,000 MT. This one right here is extremely rare and arguably one of the rarest cards in the game. Here's a bunch of our MT that we did make. Now, the Kevin Duckworth card, I did sign for 50k. And the Bingo Smith, we did lose MT on, so I'm just not throwing it in the video. But we are now at 650,000 MT, and I have a crazy snipe filter to show you guys. Just like the Mavericks filter, I am going to look into the Spurs filter now that some new challenges are out. There should be some cards, and there's one for 1.8k. You cannot make this stuff up, dude. Literally selling for 7.4 and got one for 1.8k. This filter was pretty good for the first hour or so, but the cards just kept dropping and dropping in price. And then I remember there's one really expensive Spurs player. That being none other than Victor Wembenyama. You could sell this card back at the time for almost 20,000 MT for every single one. So we were picking them up for 15k and below. And this next one was definitely the craziest one we saw. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Come on. 1.2k Wemby. Sells for 20,000 MT. That's what I'm talking about, man. I think if you're just starting off with a few thousand MT, this could be a great filter, especially on content days when everyone's focusing on the new cards and not these Series 1 cards. For only a couple hours in that filter, I can't be mad with how much we made because we are now going to be above 700,000 MT, but it's time to go for some big snipes. So we decided to hop on the brand new Diamond Greatest Era filter and saw this pop up. This isn't the exact card I'm searching for, but I'm sure he'll go for profit, so we'll take it, man. Once again, profit is profit. That card ended up selling for 128,000 MT, but let's just say for this snipe, once again, I was on my phone, not paying attention. Did I see a yellow? Bro, I actually sold. Nope, I'm bailed. I am B-A-I-L-E-D. Bailed. For this next one, was my third time sniping this card. Do you guys remember who it was? Another Shangun, bro. This is my third one now, but hey, you already know the saying, third time's a charm. Let's just say I didn't expect to see this card. Ooh, I will take a Glenn Rice. He goes for like 150,000 MT. I will definitely take that. I decided to switch over to the everything filter in hopes of seeing a pink diamond and saw this. This Chris Paul's a new card, but I'm going to pick up the Brandon Roy. The reason why I didn't pick up the Chris Paul is because there is an auction house glitch right now where those cards get canceled, and I don't think he's a snipe either way. Here 
is how much our last four snipes did end up selling for. And now we're gonna move on to our next snipe filter. I then decided to invest some of my MT into my first enable snipe filter, which is the ironclad filter. Now what I did was bought every single cheap card on this filter and then turn on the enable switch so I could see all the diamonds and pink diamonds on the same exact snipe filter. Before I use that filter, here's one last snipe from the diamond all snipe filter. I'll take another Brandon Roy, bro. It's profit. I mean, at the end of the day, it's extra MT. Now we're going to set on the ironclad snipe filter. After sitting on this filter for a little while, we did see our first snipe. Oh, D Dwight Howard. Let's go. Our first one. Okay. First Dwight Howard. Let's go. I'll take it. He goes for like 150 to 160, bro. I'll take it. We ended up seeing another snipe pretty shortly after that one. Oh, I mean, Dwight for 95k this time. Okay, it's not 100k. I mean, I'll take it, dude. Profit's profit at the end of the day. Would you believe me if I said this card popped up? Another Dwight Howard. Okay, dude, he might just be the MVP at this point because I've sniped him three times. I'm now going to redeem some of the MT we have here. I still have one of the Dwight Howard selling, and we did make good profit from those cards. So we're at 670,000, and I still have a Chris Paul and Lou Dwight in my collection, which both sell for a good amount of MT. I bet you'll never guess who we sniped. Is my filter broken or why is this the only card that pops up? There's no way. To summarize the next few snipes, we did not snipe Dwight, not once, not twice, but three more times after that one. And then finally we saw something different pop up in the most crazy way possible. It was around 1 a.m. and I always do one last check on random filters before I go to bed in case there is a snipe just sitting there and you would not believe what popped up. Oh, yo, there was just a chat sitting there? Bro, this whole time I've been on the ironclad all filter trying to see at least a Chet Holmgren and I see one when I'm not even trying. After I redeem all of these snipes right here, I'm hoping we'll be at over a million MT. I don't like how we got undersold on one of these Dwight Howards, but it doesn't matter because once I redeem these snipes, we should be over 1 million MP. It's over. If you thought this challenge was crazy, check out the one on the screen that's even crazier. Also subscribe. It's free.